Hey guys, welcome back to the Knitting Expat podcast channel. My name is Mina. I am sorry about the overhead lighting situation. I had actually planned on starting this vlog earlier. Um, it's going to be a spinning vlog, by the way. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's five o'clock now. I have a few minutes before I have to run off and go get my daughter from nursery. So I thought I'd quickly start this now and then I'll probably pick this back up again later this evening once she's in bed. But I, what was that, I posted, so I'm a bit out of breath, I've been running around putting things away and tidying up a little bit. But, um, but yeah, so I posted the podcast over the weekend and I asked you guys if, um, in the spinning segment, I asked you guys what spinning project you'd like me to do a video about next. And the overwhelming majority asked for the fractal spin. So that's what we're going to do today, or what we're going to start today. And I'm planning on this being a slightly thicker spin, probably more of a DK weight spin, a two ply fractal rather than going for like a super thin fingering weight. Because um, I think in the end I might want to do like a cowl or a cowlette type um, project with this yarn. I don't know, or maybe even for like the yoke of a sweater. We shall see what it becomes. But this is the yarn fibre that I will be turning into yarn. I picked this up at Fiberise this year from the Spin City booth and we'll just like roll it up so I can show you and I it's a little bit more pastel than what I would normally go for but I just really love these colours together and yeah it just spoke to me and it was like you you have to take me so um I picked up two braids and that's what we're going to work with so my idea is I'm actually going to prep both braids on the blending board I am not a massive fan of just spinning a braid from end to end I find um, I'm still fairly inconsistent with my ability to spin across the top I have been practicing and I'm getting better at it but it's not perfect and um, I don't know sometimes it's just nice to play with blending fiber and um, doing something a little bit different this is already coming undone but just, you know, just changing the preparation a little bit. And I've been spinning a lot of top or comb top like this recently. Um, and, you know, not doing much in the way of preparation other than maybe splitting it down into smaller strips and stuff like that. So I thought it'd be fun to prep this on the blending board. So what my plan is going to be for one braid, I'm going to keep the colour progression as it is. And so each section, I'm going to break off each colour section um, into smaller chunks and then I want to turn those into rolags and spin them in in the same gradient but from a rolag preparation rather than comb top. Hello Hugo, it's one of my cats, Hugo has come to join me. Recently every time I sit down to record he thinks I am going crazy so he comes to keep me company. Um, and then the second one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to break it down by colour section but then each of those colour sections I'm going to split into an even number of sections so I don't know maybe six for each color section and then I'm gonna blend gradient row lags um, so each row lag will have a bit from each color section in it um, and those will be from the fractal part of it you'll see as I'm making the row lags what that's gonna look like um, I'm not sure if I'll get to make all of the row lags today but hopefully I'll be able to do one braid today this evening and if not both braids we shall see how that goes Okay. Hugo wants to be involved for some reason. Um, all of the blending and the preparation side of things, I will probably end up doing that all um, as just like a montage with music over it. Um, I might do the first little bit with sound so I can talk through what I'm doing, otherwise the rest will have to just be a little montage with music over it. Once again, sorry for the bad lighting, I tend to, I have a lot of work going on at the moment that I have to spend my daytime working on, obviously, because that's my job, designs and stuff like that. So um, most of this spinning project is probably gonna be in the evenings, which in the past wouldn't have been so bad because it got dark a lot later than it does at the moment. It's five o'clock and it's already dark outside. So, um, so yeah, apologies. There's not gonna be the most amazing lighting for this spin, but I hope you will enjoy the process and you will find it interesting and useful and yeah. So I've got to run off and go get Layla now and I'll be back a little bit later once she's in bed and um, pick up from there. Alright, so bye for now from me and Hugo. You say bye Hugo. You say bye bye.
Bye bye. Squidgy, squidge, squidge. Hey guys, it is now quite a bit later. Layla's asleep. Um, I've had my dinner. The fireworks are over and done with. Today is actually the 5th of November, which in the UK is um, bonfire night. And typically we just have a bunch of fireworks going off today. And, <coughs> sorry, I still have this cough. Um, yeah, so those are now done, <laughs> so it's not too noisy. And um, yeah, I'm gonna sit down and blend up some fiber. So I think I'm gonna do the, the full gradient first. Um, so this is like the one that would be as if I was spinning it from end to end. But I'm going to break it up and I'm going to blend it and make up some Rolex and I think that'd be a really fun way to do it. Um, and yeah, so here we go. Okay, so first things first, I'm just going to split the fibre into the different colours. So we're just going to break it down roughly. Oop. So now I have everything broken down by colour, some sections are bigger than others but that's just the way it has turned out and that is fine. So, we're going to get started.
morning guys it is now the next day i am back um so we've done the initial rolex for the um big gradient I'll just move the camera down so you can see so we've done the initial rolex so i'm going to be spinning from one end to the other I'm not sure which way it doesn't really matter and then now i'm going to make the gradient rolex from this one so this is going to be our big gradient and then with this one we're going to do all the little gradients and yeah so i'm going to show you how i do that now as well basically the same way the reason why these rolags are short was because there wasn't enough of each color to fill the whole board so i just did little shorter rolags to keep the keep the gradient together So we're now done. So these are what the Rolags look like, the gradient ones. So you see you've got all the colours in each Rolag compared to like these little ones that, you know, one colour each Rolag going through the big gradient. And then this will be, so that will be one ply, these little ones, uh, that whole gradient, it'll be one ply. And then these gradient Rolags will be the second ply. So, yeah. I'll probably start spinning these later today or this evening once Layla's in bed. It depends how soon I finish my work for the day and um, if I'll have some time to do some of this before I go pick her up. Otherwise it'll be this evening. All right, so that's it for now. I'll, um, I'll see you soon for the spinning. It is the next morning um, so today is Thursday the 7th of November now and yeah so I finished spinning that first bobbin last night and uh, yeah really loving how this is turning out it's definitely turning out on the thicker side which is what I wanted and that is totally fine so that's what I was going for and now I'm gonna sit down and start spinning the Rolex um, I'm starting now, but I have just put on some water to boil to make some pasta for lunch, so I only have a few minutes to do this. Um, so I'm just going to get started now. I'll probably leave this um, and come back to it either later today or this evening. Um, yeah, I'm, what I'm going to do, I don't always do this with my Rolex, and I didn't do it with the first bobbin, but sometimes with my Rolex I'll go through and like pre-draft just a little bit um, before get going like I said you don't have to do this if you're a beginner though and you're new to Rolex I do highly recommend this it does help you get a more even spin if you just pre-draft it a little bit so yeah a Rolex that was this long now looks like this all right 
I'm just going to turn the camera a little bit to give you a better view but I think what I'm going to do with this bit just a bit of quiet spinning time um no music I, I, I might put a little bit of music over this section but I'm not going to speed it up or anything and you'll be able to just hear the natural sounds of my wheel as I'm spinning I'm done spinning the singles on this spin. Um, I finished spinning the Rolag singles earlier this morning whilst Layla was busy playing some games. And um, I have my jumbo bobbin and flyer set up on my wheel because that's what I'm going to use to ply because I had two 100, 100 gram or just over 100 gram braids. And clearly as you can see, I've got two fairly full bobbins. I wouldn't be able to apply these all onto one bobbin and I just kind of want to keep it all as one skein and that's the beauty of having a jumbo flyer that you can do that. So um, that's what I'm going to do today uh, or this evening rather. It is now, I don't know what time it is, this evening is almost half eight and Layla's in bed, Perry's out this evening and um, yeah so I'm going to spend some time flying. I will share with you the journey i'm not doing anything super fancy i'm just doing a standard two ply um on my jumbo bobbin as i mentioned <laughs>
Hey guys. So I have been trying to find time to sit down and film this little ending for this vlog for the longest time. Literally, it's been about four days now since I've been trying to sit down and record the ending for this. I've been so busy with work this week, I just didn't have time. And by the time I was ready to like sort of stop what I was doing to come upstairs and film, it was too dark. Obviously, this winter weather is not helping with my filming just because yeah, like it's dark by like 3.30, so my filming window is a lot smaller than it used to be. But here we go, this is the finished spin. This is the Spin City UK um, Merino Tencel blend. And I just spun this for fun. I wasn't attempting to get a specific thickness. You can see it's very thick and thin. There's some like super thick bits here and there are some finer bits throughout. So it's a very uneven spin, but that was part of the charm. I wasn't going for perfection, I was going for fun. And I'm really happy with how this has turned out. So this has been, this is now 213 grams. I got 402 yards or 368 meters, and it's about a worsted iron weight. It sort of fluctuates a bit between the two. There's definitely some bits that are a bit more bulky, some bits that are finer, but it's around that overall. And I'm really happy with how this spin turned out. Like I said before, it's much more pastel than I normally go for for my colour, usual colour palette scheme, but I really like whoop, these colours together. It, it gives off a very sort of like unicorn mermaid sort of vibe, which is quite fun. <laughs> and um, we'll see what this becomes. This will probably just live in the stash for a while until I can decide what I want to do with it. Um, so yeah, that is that. My hair is completely crazy focus has gone weird but yeah I think I'm gonna end this spinning vlog here like I said sorry it took me so long to get this done I literally haven't spun on my wheel all week so it's just been a very very busy week today's Sunday the 17th of November so it's been a while since I last sat down to record <sighs> but we're done it's all done and uh, yeah hopefully this vlog will be going up pretty quick all right see you guys soon take care bye